Valley Relics Museum has a collection of items related to the San Fernando Valley from the late 1800s to today with more than 20,000 artifacts. The museum is located next to the Van Nuys Airport in the San Fernando Valley. Occupying two aircraft hangars, Valley Relics Museum combines valley pop culture and historical artifacts from Hollywood Westerns to Lockheed Aviation to vintage restaurants. This is a family-friendly journey through local history and a great way to spend some time examining local pop culture. For those who grew up in the valley, the museum jogs childhood memories with suburban history. The valley was home to many famous Hollywood personalities, including Robert Redford and Marilyn Monroe, who attended Van Nuys High School. James Cagney and Clark Gable had ranches in the valley. Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz had a house in Chatsworth. Jack Oakey bought Barbara Stanwyck's estate in Northridge. The museum's collection includes vintage neon signs, postcards, photographs, and fast food memorabilia. There are restaurant menus, matchbooks, ashtrays, classic cars, vintage documents, and much more. LA's long gone restaurants live on at the museum. The historic neon display includes signage from the legendary country music venue, the Palomino, Tower Records, and a number of vintage restaurants and San Fernando landmarks. The fabled Palomino Club, a North Hollywood landmark, was where country music and rock and roll stars performed. Johnny Cash, Linda Ronstadt, Willie Nelson, Neil Young, Elvis Costello, and many, many more performed at the Palomino. There are plenty of fast food memories and icons represented, with Ronald McDonald's costume and the original Jack in the Box drive through speaker and menu when a burger was just 18 cents. There are costumes and other items related to North Hollywood rodeo tailor Nudie Cohen, costume designer for country music stars and one of Elvis Presley's famous suits. Nudie's created the iconic gold lame suit that Elvis wears on the cover of his 1959 album, 50 Million Elvis Fans Can't Be Wrong. Entertainers such as Roy Rogers and Dale Evans were Nudie customers, as were John Wayne, Gene Autry, Hank Williams, George Jones, and Elton John. All wore rhinestone studded western outfits known as nudie suits. There is also a customized Cadillac Eldorado and Pontiac Safari station wagon known as nudie mobiles. The collection also includes over 150 BMX bikes from the 1970s and 1980s, along with posters, trophies, and other BMX memorabilia. Southern California was the birthplace in the early 1970s of bicycle motocross, which grew into a national and international sport and has been an official Olympic medal sport since 2008. The Valley was the birthplace of BMX bicycle manufacturing as well, with famed BMX brands such as Mongoose, Redline, and Champion all located in the Valley. There are arcade games and pinball machines where you can test your vintage game skills. A small gift shop includes nostalgic t-shirt logos, posters, and other items that baby boomers may not be able to resist. The Valley Relics Museum looks to promote, preserve, and protect historical artifacts and educate the public on the rich history of the San Fernando Valley. This is a fun, family-friendly way to spend some time examining local pop culture and suburban history. For those who grew up in the valley, the museum jogs memories of a long-ago childhood.